Hello there. Um, in this video, I just want to show you how to install the latest version of Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. You head to this link that I will enclose in the description and you can uh, there find the uh, whole thing with the details, uh, what size the actual files have, download files, the system requirements, if this is important to you, but it should not be because it's not that much of uh, requirements and then some installation instruction that you don't need. You want to download um, Express 64-bit uh, Secret Server uh, x64 which I will check uh, right now. Um, this will be enough for you I guess because we just want to do basic stuff. Um, yeah, you could also to, uh, download the advanced version but we don't need it so just keep with uh, Express. Okay, so the download now is finished, uh, we can run this thing. You will have uh, to provide a folder where you can extract the, the installation files, but just press OK. Then you have to wait until the setup provided your files. In the menu that appears, you just click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation or Add Feature. An existing installation there we will uh, you always have to wait a little bit there we we'll just check accept terms uh, yeah uh, you don't need customer experience if you want you can check it um, we don't need Microsoft updates for this we just need the basic version we install uh, everything as it is there you can change of course the directory but I didn't we change to default instance since we only have one instance or well, we won't, will have only one instance here. The server configuration you can leave like it is. I mean, you can take correlation but you shouldn't do. Make sure that your user is listed in the specified SQL Server Administrators. Otherwise click um, the button at current user here. Okay, go now to next. Then installation progress runs and then you're finished. So now you also need the management studio checked here. Install it as well, please, because this is uh, what you need to access the database. Here the same procedure, you uh, download it, you run it, you extract the files. Um, it's basically the same thing, uh, the same menu at least. Waiting is necessary to install all of this. Okay, you go also get here to new SQL Server standalone or add, fe add features to an existing installation because that's exactly what you will do. And um, the thing is that the SQL Server Management Studio, what we are installing right now, you need to access the database. I said it already. So the database itself is installed, but you need some, some access to it, some tool. That's the tool. And you add this to the uh, database you just installed. So you, we don't need uh, updates either here. You select add features to an existing instance because we just installed this existing instance. We add the feature to this, of course. Uh, we check management tool basic and complete because that's what we need. We don't need all the other options. Uh, it's not necessary. Yeah, and the same thing. After the progress uh, is done, you just uh, search for Ma SQL Server Management Studio and there you are, Microsoft SQL Server 2014. This is uh, something I don't, I, I just have because I had a previous version installed. Wait for the Management Studio to be ready. Then you can just type dot or in bra brackets uh, local and then you can access your local um, database. Here you are, you see the database. The instance with no database is installed, of course, because we have a fresh copy. Thanks for watching. Please, uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss uh, latest tutorials. Also, try to visit the Facebook page. You can participate in any kind of discussion evolving from these videos. I will upload uh, videos in the future that are actual tutorials for SQL and SQL Server. Thanks for watching.